welcome to the interview. Today we have with us Dr. Pushpinder Kaur Benipal, Assistant Professor of Commerce in Vivekanand Mahavidyalaya. Ma'am, welcome to the interview. Thank you. Uh, Ma'am, can you tell me about yourself? Okay, I'm Dr. Pushpinder Kaur Benipal. I have done my higher education from Vivekanand Mahavidyalaya, Ravishnabha Shukravishnabha Vidyalaya, B.Com. And from Ravishnabha also from Vivekanand Mahavidyalaya, M.P.M. from Yuga College. And I'm doctorate in Commerce from Ravishnabha Shukravishnabha I am serving as an assistant professor since 10 years, last 10 years in the commerce field. Alright ma'am, ma'am what keeps you connected with the education sector and how has your experience been so far with it? Education sector is the best sector to keep yourself updated about the new subjects, new principles, especially we are from the commerce field, so economics is the main subject related to us. It helps us to know about the economy of the country and we always keep ourselves updated with the uh, current affairs related to the current matters related to the nation, whether it's the industry sector, health insurance sector, or whether it's the education sector. And uh, it's my experience is very great because earlier we started the, with the taxation of indirect taxes, now we are studying and teaching GST, a new concept, which means we are always ready to adopt new culture and the new scenarios provided to us in the education sector by the government or by the university. All right, ma'am. Ma'am, being the assistant professor of commerce, ma'am, what are your roles and responsibility towards the student? Uh, our basic roles, being in commerce, that our students should not be only uh, related to theoretical knowledge. They should also deal with the practical knowledge. Uh, on a regular basis, we also take PPT presentations from the students and we make them aware about the current affairs. Uh, as such, in the marketing concept, marketing is a never-ending process and each and every day. There are the new concepts related to the marketing new companies. So we keep our students updated with the new examples and uh, this is our practice towards the students. Alright ma'am. Ma'am, how does the curriculum of the college ensure students are being prepared for the future? Um, as it comes to the curriculum, it's the curriculum provided by the Ravishankar Shukla Vishwajala. So we cannot change much in the curriculum but okay, uh, as such uh, commerce is related. We are regular basis, on the regular basis, the university is updating the courses. So it's beneficial for the students to be uh, oh. present, uh, to be known to the present scenario properly. All right, ma'am. Ma'am, how does you try to bring practical approach towards the student and may, uh, student as well as towards the subject and make it industry oriented? Okay. Uh, on the regular concept, we take our income students to the industrial units. As if they should know what kind of uh, cost accounting is the main subject, one of the main subjects in the BCom and MCom. So we take the students to the uh, manufacturing concern that they should know how the cost accounts are prepared practically in the offices, or in the factories or in the offices. All right, ma'am. Ma'am, what do you see as a great strength of your college? The great strength of our college is that we are having the most experienced staff in our college. Uh, maximum all our uh, doctorates, PhD and their relevant sub subjects and other than the doctorates, each and every teacher here is also a net qualified teacher. So it's a biggest strength for us and the second strength is our college uh, gets the, uh, when it comes to the merit list, our college gets the 4 to 5 students from the merit list in the top 10 students of Ravishan Kavishwajaya, which is the greatest strength for us. Oh. That means we generally focus on education as, uh, as per the College is concerned as for the university is concerned. That's great, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, any suggestion you would like to give to current youth and aspiring students? Yes, yeah, sure. I would like to tell the students that they should keep their basic knowledge clear. Their basic should be clear. It doesn't matter what the percentage they are getting in the examination. Okay, they should get first division and more than that. But basic is if they are getting 80 percent, uh, 80 percentage in the examination, but they are not doing any kind of basic knowledge. That is of no use. They should be clear in their basic knowledge, whether it's accountancy or whether any kind of subject they are studying. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you for being the part of the interview, ma'am. Thank you, and have a nice. Thank you.